Hi guys, welcome to the Paleo Prep Lab. Today I'm taking a look at fossilized wood from the Chesapeake Bay. You might already know about petrified wood. That's wood that's almost like stone. Maybe the tree died in an area that had a lot of silica or quartz, and over time, all of its organic material, which is based out of carbon and very close to silica on the periodic table of elements, well, it gets replaced. So it quartzifies, it petrifies, um, and you end up with something really hard like stone. We don't usually find that in the Chesapeake Bay. We find this. Can you see that? Looks like a piece of coal. It's carbon. It's just carbon. So this area during the Miocene epoch was mostly a shallow sea. There were trees around, but uh, their, their trunks were floating out into the ocean, maybe in a storm or something like that. The trees would become waterlogged and sink to the bottom of that ocean where it's mostly clays, just silt, sediment. There's not a lot of silica, not a lot of quartz. So they don't petrify. Instead, they just break down to the base carbon. And so in a way, this is more like the original tree than a petrified fossil would be because this is the carbon that was part of the original organism. Now on this one, you can see a little bit of the wood grain move it in the light maybe you can pick that up and then the end which is sheared off to me looks like a cut through wood very very much sometimes you'll get lucky when you're looking at these fossils and you might see sections where you can see where a branch was attached or something like that but they've been compressed they don't look very tree-like next time you're walking along the beaches of the Chesapeake and you find something if it's if it's porous it's coal from somebody's campfire on the beach but if it looks like this really polished jet like that's a gemstone that's made out of a coal like uh, mineral um, then you've got a piece of fossilized wood thanks for stopping by